Hey everybody, um, sorry for the pause here, holidays, uh, didn't really get to put too many videos out, but uh, I really appreciate it for you guys who have subscribed to Chris Girl Fishing to keep passing the word along. Uh, this little quick video is basically, I mean everyone knows the FG knot, but I'm kind of uh, going Seth Fighter style here and going big line, um, you know, 50 to 17, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, I'm going to show you the way I like to do it. And, you know, not just because this FG is on heavier line, this is the way I tie it on lighter line when I'm using spinning tackle or whatnot. We all know the FG and how it stands for, and it's true, it's a really, really, really good knot. And uh, slick, compact, be able to get through the guides, uh, you know, especially with bait casting gear, it allows you to get into some cover and get some fish out that you wouldn't have with possibly straight fluorocarbon. But, uh, uh, everyone does it different. Uh, you're gonna see mine's just a hair different. Some people do it off their hat, their mouth. What I like to do is uh, I go off the old belt buckle here, as you can see. Uh, you can tell I've been tying a bunch of them, but uh, that's kind of how I roll, and uh, maybe it'll work for you guys. Stay tuned. It's gonna be FG knot. I'm doing heavy line though. This is a 50 pound X5 braid to 17 pound 100% fluorocarbon. I'm gonna start. Always start with it over, as you can see. But the thing here is, you start going away, then back to yourself. I'm gonna do this 24 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you notice, I kind of snug it when I come back around. Eight, I just shake the knot so I don't have any overlay. Nine, 10, 11, 12. I like to check at this point to make sure everything's laying nice and that's a perfect, perfect start. So I'm gonna go 12 more times, let's go. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and now 24 will be the last, it'll be even, it's coming back to me, and that's where I'm stopping my knot at. So now, I got 24, and look how perfect that lays, okay? So now, I keep this on this side. And the next step is, I'm gonna lay this up the line that goes back to the, to the reel. Cut it back here, leave myself some distance. Now I have my line going flush forward as you see here. I have my tag left of, of braid. I'm gonna do two overhand knots. I like to keep everything kind of snug. Let the knot fall completely in place. This is the crucial part. This is where you lock. Then I like to do, scoot back for you a little. I like to do one more. Just two overhands. Lock everything in. Mind you, this is key, letting it line up. Right there. I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna kinda tighten that bit, lock that knot down. I'm gonna pull forward. Now here's the key here. I myself, I just know that knot. I did get it wet a little bit. This is where I just kinda stretch the knot. I'm gonna pull as hard as I can, get everything aligned. Okay. Now we'll go back to our position here. Mind you, I got this going up. Got my fluorocarbon out of the way here. What I'm going to do is, I do one more for insurance. My roommate taught me that. Nothing wrong, you can do you can do two more if you want. I do one more for insurance, lock it, pull my tag back up, lock everything, find my scissors and I cut it as close as I can to the braid. Now, got that little tag of braid. Some people burn it, some people don't. 
I'll end up burning the uh, fluorocarbon at the end. Don't have a lighter handy, but it is what it is. But I'm going to put a bunch of these up in front just to protect it from going through the guides. burn that a little bit later I'm gonna cut that close there we are perfectly clean FG I gotta do a little melting but there we are set well finished the FG not uh, I'll show you here in a sec up close, I burned it 17 pound, 100%. Uh, a thing I like to do here on my flipping stick is, as you can see the knot, I already burned it. Everyone has their own opinion on this, but you know, here I'm doing it the way I like to do things. I never bring it really into the spool. Uh, I just feel that the knot gets beat up in here, even though it's an FG knot, it's super strong. I bring it closest to the, to the, uh, you know, to the worm drive as I can. And you know, I'm a flipper, so I bring the line just a little past where I like to flip um, so I can tie on the jig, but I'm set back here. Uh, so this thing's ready. This is X5. I think this is 40 or 50 X5 in green, and this is to 17 pound floral. Uh, the bait that's going on here, you know, I'm kind of getting ready to go to Rayburn. Uh, definitely, definitely, this is an outcast stealth fighter jig in half ounce. Super, super low profile tungsten jig from outcast, and you know, it is the deal uh, and pretty excited about the trailer on here um, you know was a big menace guy but uh, Berkeley stepped up to the plate with uh, the boss grub so now uh, we're putting the boss grub on the back of there and you're pretty much set kind of slick little compact heavy jig tungsten good flipping around trees but uh, yeah this is what I'm gonna be tying on here I'll give you a couple close-up shots of the knot whatnot later on but uh, take care good fishing